Hey guys, it is Arika Misha. It is Sunday morning and it is time to cook Sunday dinner. And today guys, on the menu we have fried pork chops and my homemade macaroni and cheese. All right, and let's go. I have the Mueller's elbow, large elbow uh, pasta noodles. Um, I have the Mao Cheddar Public Shredded Cheese. I have two packs of these. And I also have the mozzarella. I'm going to do two cheese today. Sometimes I do the mild cheddar. Sometimes I may throw a little sharp in there. Um, and sometimes I do the mild cheddar and mozzarella. Just, you know, depending on how it feels. Y'all know how it is in the kitchen. So today we're going to do the mild cheddar and the mozzarella cheese. Yummy mac and cheese. All right. And of course, the star of the show, the pork chops. Um, I seasoned these yesterday. They have been marinating all night. So let me give you guys a peek at those pork chops. Yes, they have been marinating all night. Ah, yes, they have. Look at them. Look at all the seasons. I'll bring it in for you guys. Yes, they have been marinating all night. All night, guys. Okay, anyway, let's get to cooking. Let's get to frying, guys. All right, fried pork chops and homemade macaroni and cheese, guys. Something quick and simple. Let's go. Hey, guys, I'm back. Let's go ahead and get our macaroni and cheese, our mac and cheese together. Uh, today, I'm going to do where I make the cheese. Uh, how can I say it? I'm gonna do it where I make the cheese base and then I'll add my noodles. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about because if you guys go back to one of my other videos, I did it the other way, so I'm doing it a different way. I make my macaroni and cheese three, four different kind of ways, but let's do this one today, guys. All right, so you know I've got my Gotham. Got my Gotham pan ready. Let's get my stove on here. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna add my butter. Adding about four tablespoons of butter. Yep, four tablespoons of butter. That's going to help your eggs melt. I mean, not your eggs, your cheese melt. Eggs melt. All right, let's get my fan on. Put water under the pot. All right. Let's get the butter melted. Get this butter melted. I'm going to go ahead and get the butter melted down. Make sure you guys can see. Yep, you can see. All right, you guys can see in the pot. Let me back you up a little bit. Okay. All right. Go ahead and get our butter melted down. Just want to show you guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and make the um, the cheese base, and then I'll add my noodles, and then add it to my pan. Quick and easy and simple, guys. It's a quicker way to make your mac and cheese. Cheese pan down. Okay. Okay, butter's melting. Butter is melting, melting butter. And I like for my butter to get melted all the way. Let's get that that butter melted all the way down. We need that butter nice and melted, nice and hot. Okay, that's good enough. All right, so we got our butter base. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to add my cheese. Let me add my milk first. Okay, so what I have, I'm going to cut this heat down some. All right, what I have, guys, is this is a cup of milk, one cup of milk, and three eggs. One cup of milk and three eggs. I might add more milk, I'll see. Add my cheese in there. I've got one full bag and I'm gonna do half a bag of this mozzarella. Cause I wanna save some of this mozzarella for the top of my um, mac and cheese. All right, so let's get it all mixed in the milk. Once again, that was one cup of milk with three eggs. And I took the egg and I blended it into the milk. I already poured one bag of cheese in of the cheddar. And I did half of the mozzarella. Gonna make our cheese base. I'm gonna go ahead and put this other bag of cheese in there. 
All right. Making our cheese base here. Gonna get our cheese all melted. I like mixing the cheese. I like the mozzarella with the cheddar. I like the taste. Get that melted. Now, some people add a little flour to thicken it, but no, I don't add flour. The, um, the cheese is thick enough. Get our cheese all melted down. So everything melts. Keep stirring it, guys. Keep stirring it. Okay, so I've got that done. I'm going to add a little salt, a little pepper. Add a little salt. I'd say about one, one teaspoon of salt. I'm going to add a little pepper. One teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of pepper. That's what I'll do. I usually just throw a little salt, a little pepper in there. All right, guys, and that's our cheese base. See, it's our cheese base. The only thing left to do is add my noodles. raining noodles oh boy y'all don't laugh it happens don't laugh it happens didn't expect for them noodles to all come out at once oh boy all right let's get our heat down because you don't want your cheese to burn either so you don't want it to burn you don't want it to taste burn let me get the rest of the noodles in here let's get them in the pot all right, they're in the pot. They're in the pot and all over the floor, some of them. All right, guys. That's it. Look at that. Mac and cheese done. Just that easy. Quick and easy. I like doing it this way. It's quicker. And all I'll do, I'll just throw this in my pan and throw it in the oven. Let's get that oven preheated. I'm going to preheat my oven to 400. Let's cut this stove off. All right, got my stove on 400. Look at that mac and cheese. Look at it. Look at it, guys. Look at it. All nice and cheesy. You can eat it right now. You can eat it right now, guys. All nice and cheesy. Let me zoom y'all in so y'all can see. Look at that. Look at that mac and cheese. It's all done. All I got to do is just throw it in the pan and throw some cheese over the top. All right, guys. I'll be back to show you that. Okay, guys. I have trayed up the mac and cheese. Just threw it into my cooking pan. Of course, it's got them. I sprayed it. And I poured the, um, I poured the mac and cheese into the pan. All right. And as you guys can see, it is nice and cheesy. You guys see it. So, what I'm going to do now... I'm going to go ahead and pour the rest of my mozzarella cheese across the top. I'm going to 
gonna pour the rest of that. I've already got my oven preheated to 400 degrees. And I will put this in the oven for about 25 minutes. So everything can become one. Everybody can come together. Everybody can come together for the mac and cheese party. All right. You guys see how it looks? And of course, the second star of the show. Yes, my parsley flakes. Y'all should know. I'm going to put parsley on it. Parsley makes everything look so pretty. I wish they had some pink parsley. Y'all know I love pink. Yeah, that, that's pushing it, I know. That's pushing it. All right, guys, get it all covered in the parsley so when it melts down, it's going to look delicious. It is going to look da da delicious. Let me zoom you guys in. Mm -mm -mm. Let me take you guys over here. Take you guys over here. Let me adjust this. All right, there it is. Look at that. Taking y'all in. Taking y'all in. Bringing y'all back. Hold on. Oh, there it is. Y'all know how these cameras be tripping. Look at that. Look at that mac and cheese. It looks beautiful. Okay, guys. Let's get it in the oven. When I come back, I'll be bringing it out. Okay, guys. We've got our oil all nice and ready for our pork chops. Let's go ahead and get them in. Yes, the oil is ready. Got my pork chops all nicely coated with the flour. Alright, let's get them in there. Let's go. And I don't have a bunch of oil in my pan. You know, not like I'm frying chicken or anything. So, I've just got a little bit of oil at the bottom. The same height as the pork chops. Go ahead and let them fry on that side. And of course, I'll flip them over. Alright guys, I've got the pork chops in. I'll bring you guys back when I'm bringing them out. Bring them out. Alright guys, I'll be... Okay guys, I'm getting ready to pull the last two pork chops out of the oil. Make sure you guys got a good shot there. Alright. Okay. Alright. Pork chop number three. Pork chop number four. And these are the thick pork chops too. These are the really thick ones. So they take a little longer to cook, but not that much longer, about 10 minutes. About 10 minutes. And they're thick, so I keep flipping them over to make sure they get cooked on all sides. So you guys see it. You guys saw me do it, so you know I did it. There it is. Fried pork chop, homemade, old fashioned fried pork chops. They look delicious, I know they do. Yes, let me bring you guys out some, bring you back. Wait, don't bite the pork chop. Hold on a minute, back up. Yes, you guys can see. Ooh, look at that fried pork chop. Ooh, wee. Beautiful fried pork chop, ain't nothing like it. All right, and I pulled the mac and cheese out. Let me take y'all over there to see that mac and cheese. Hold on, let me get y'all in there. I go to mac and cheese. Y'all know I'm going to zoom y'all in. Ooh wee. Look at that mac and cheese. It looks amazing. Wait, back up. It looks amazing. Look at it. Look at all that. Ooh wee. All right, guys. Whew. Yeah, it's hot in this kitchen. All right, guys. I'm finished. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. You've got your fried pork chop and homemade macaroni and cheese. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to go look at all my other cooking videos, guys. Show me support on those other videos as well. And don't forget, guys, knowledge is power. Yes, it is. All right, guys. Bye.